Morning. Uh, it's good to be here. It's a little chilly, but the sun is out and yesterday was a beautiful day. Sorry, I'm a little bit late. Uh, we're Katie's taking one of the cats to the vet this morning and had a hard time getting him into the, the kitty crate. So, um, but uh, it looks like it's going to be another beautiful day. Yesterday was a wonderful day. We had got to spend a little bit of time outside. A couple of students and I on Bowman. Bowman is usually packed on a nice, sunny, warm day. Uh, it wasn't too crowded yesterday. We spent a little time in the sun and it was just beautiful. So hopefully there's some time for the same thing today for any of you guys to get out there on the, uh, in the sun and just soak up some of the vitamin D and enjoy the warmth of spring before it gets too warm, right? <laughs> we know that's not too far off, but we'll see what today brings. Uh, today, I, I don't have anything especially new to say. This is something I've, I've used in a devotion for students before. Um, but yesterday, on this beautiful day, we did get Spill the Beans. And every time I go to Spill the Beans, I think the same thing um, because of the way they make their ice cream. So I want to talk a little bit about that and uh, the fruit of the Spirit and how we interact with one another. Um, and then we'll we'll go about our days and see what... Sorry, I think the video stalled for a minute there, but we'll see... We'll see what God is calling us to do to love our neighbors this weekend. Let's start with a prayer and then we'll, um, we'll hop right into this devotion. Let us pray. God, we ask that you are with us this morning, that you are with us throughout the day, throughout the weekend, and always as we continue to try to live good, faithful lives for you, for others, for ourselves. And we ask that you fill us up with something good this morning uh, to, to energize us for the rest of the day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, uh, like I said, I want to talk a little bit about Spill the Beans. It's the ice cream shop right next to church, dangerously close to church. Fortunately, uh, these past several months, they've only been open from 4 to 10. So you can't just go there all day. Uh, and I'm not always there at church those hours, 4 to 10. So it's nice that I'm not just eating ice cream every day. <laughs> but the way that they make their ice cream is great uh, you'd walk up and you maybe you look at the menu and you say chocolate and vanilla that's all you got they start with these two bases but then they have you know a few dozen different mix-ins they say so oreos one of our students likes to get gummy bears uh you can get chocolate chips you can get sprinkles you can get fudge caramel sauce anything you can get almost anything you've ever dreamed of actually recently they just started putting bacon <laughs> little bacon bits and it's not bacon bits that you might buy in the store it's actually cooked bacon that's chopped up so that's a thing you can put in your ice cream nowadays but at Spill the Beans they start with these two bases either chocolate or vanilla I'm sure you could probably get both and then they use some kind of mixing machine that doesn't just you know spin the ice cream around and fold it together and get you a couple of Oreos inside of your ice cream it puts it inside the ice cream it mixes it all pretty well together almost like a milkshake would be but it's still ice cream it's still pretty solid um so it's a it's a great process but one thing that i always notice at spill the beans is that every now and then you will get a little bit of the mix-ins or the ingredients of the person in front of you uh, so if you order vanilla with oreo mix-in and the person in front of you Maybe they had banana or raspberry or something fruity that was still a little bit attached to the machine. You might get a little bit of their banana and raspberry in your chocolate and Oreo. And you might be surprised by it, uh, but rarely ever is it an unwelcome surprise. <laughs> you might be expecting just vanilla and, and Oreo, but just a little bit of raspberry or banana isn't the worst thing in the world. <laughs> um, and it's, it's a nice surprise, but Every now and then that happens at Spill the Beans and you get a little bit of extra something. One thing that it makes me think about is how interconnected our lives are just by chance. You know, there are so many different things that you might do in your everyday life that are going to have an effect, either big or small, on the people around you. And living in a community, that's just going to happen, right? And so I think... For one thing, that makes me think of all the different ways that other people have subtle impacts on my life, right? When their mix-ins kind of get into my life um, and have a, a subtle impact on me. Uh, how many different people have made your day a little bit better just with a smile, something like that, right? 
Um, or we talk about random acts of kindness, might be a little bigger, but when a stranger might do something to impact your day, for better or for worse. Um, and it just, our, our lives are so interconnected. But also, how many different times has something that you've done, not even thinking about it, had an impact on someone else's life? Again, for better or for worse. Uh, and it makes us think about every little thing that we do. We should be intentional in our actions. We should make sure that what we are doing has a, a, a good impact on this world, or at least neutral instead of a bad impact. And I think that's a, a high task. It's a big responsibility, but it's the nature of this world of living in community of having relationships that our lives are so interconnected in the lives of, of each other I think about the fruits of the Spirit and sometimes I think about the fruits of the Spirit in ways that each of us has different kind of uh, gifts or um, traits about us that are good you know uh, peace patience kindness love and joy At different points in our lives we might do different things but also I think about the Holy Spirit as invisibly and sometimes surprisingly working in our lives um, to, to you know, chalk up those fruits so that those things are being done in our actions. So that those things are things that we are passing along, the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, etc., gentleness, all those things in the little things that we're doing whether we know it or not, those are the things that the, the Holy Spirit are doing through us. And so as our lives are interconnected, we can have faith and hope <laughs> that the Holy Spirit is doing good things for others through some of the smaller things that we do, whether we know it or not. That was a lot of talking. I, I talked pretty quickly there, but um, I, I don't know. The sunshine gives me a lot of energy and I have <laughs> a little more action in the mornings, even this early in the morning. So, um, Think about that a little bit, though. And next time you're at Spill the Beans, you know, take a, a big scoop of whatever you bought and, and see if it tastes a little bit like somebody else's ice cream. <laughs> but think about how interconnected we are in our lives and what that means for the things that you might do. Think about how the fruits of the Spirit show up in your actions and the actions of others around you, that kind of thing. Um, because when we talk about the Holy Spirit, we don't talk about something that's always intentional, right? It's something that just happens because God wants it to happen and what does that look like in our lives um, but now I want ice cream and it's only eight o'clock in the morning so I can't do that <laughs> maybe I'll settle for coffee but we'll see maybe later I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day let's pray and let's go about our days looking for fruits of the spirit or fruits of our ice cream or whatever we got whatever fruits you are out there let us let us pray God, we give you thanks for all of the sweet things that you put into our lives. Uh, the sweetness of things like ice cream, uh, but also the sweetness of our relationships and our interconnectedness with one another. We give you thanks for all of the people around us who make our lives even just a little bit better by being in it, by doing small things to love us. And we are grateful that your spirit works through us to do the same for others. Uh, fill us up with so many fruits of the spirit today so we can go out and spread them as far and wide as we can. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Thanks y'all. Uh, go out there and I don't know just soak up the sun. <laughs> it's a, another great day. See ya.